Eyewitness News on WPRI 12 continues. Eyewitness News is covering the economy. After nearly 90 years in business, a local company that has dressed up Rhode Islanders is closing its doors. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Hogan has more about the end of Waldorf Tuxedo as we cover the economy. They've been there for weddings, proms, fancy parties, and now they're hoping customers will return to buy what they've rented for years. Waldorf Tuxedo is going out of business. Oh, we don't have many options. In Owner Jeff Quirk is our, the fourth generation to run the business, and unfortunately, it ends with him. And there's a lot of emotion involved, and that was the, the most difficult part of, of separating a business decision from a family decision. But a change of styles and bad economy left the owner no choice. The party's over. Yeah, it's just become more difficult to to even catch up to to where we were the previous year and and it's just hotter and hotter every year to to survive as a small business in rhode island of course going out of business waldorf tuxedo has to get rid of its inventory so if you've ever thought of wanting to buy a tuxedo now you can and the price is right sure, we're going to be selling full tuxedos anywhere from a hundred dollars complete with everything um, so some of our top of the line tuxedos that are renting for 150 175 you can buy those for similar to that price what are you going to miss most i'm going to miss most that you know this is a business i've done all my life and the day that it's not here it's it's gonna it's gonna feel weird for those customers who have deposits on tuxedos, Jeff says he has taken care of all of them and referred them to other shops to take care of them. The stores going out of business sale will really take off right after the new year. I'm Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.